Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Uh, this is Andy Cambriax, Korean American. Um, quick background is I am catching up on K-pop. Last five, ten years, I have not been uh, kept abreast on what's going on. Um, but I have been a Korean, historically a Korean pop listener and culture, like entertainment, Korean entertainment uh, intaker, whatever that means, uh, from the eight, from around the nine, late 80s to basically the 20, 2000s and maybe even some of the 2010s when I think about it, uh, like the early parts of it. But yeah, like I said, five, 10 years, I'm completely out of date and just getting back into the swing of things. And this time around, I have on my list a group called I've. Uh, it's buried in one of my recommendations and I just wanted to change it up. I've been requesting to a lot of, cause I've been really into, TXT and um, Stray Kids, and then I'm just getting into Twice now in my channel. Twice is uh, late, later work, not some of the earlier work that I'm more familiar with. Um, and a little bit of BTS is like B track sides. Um, I've also been reacting to a lot of uh, fourth gen girl groups, like brand new ones, and pretty soon I better start looking at the boy groups as well. Uh, but the boy groups, I. <laughs> Stray Kids and TXT in particular have been um, giving my fill of boy groups and I'm really enjoying what they're producing and showing. Uh, but anyways, um, this one is I've 11 and I'm just gonna get right into it. That melody is like a is it like a Middle Eastern influence? It's it's you know it's stereotypically one of those um, kinds of melodies. They look really young. I do know her. So this is the group she's in. Um, I know she's Won Young from Produce 48 and eventually Eyes One. I'm not really familiar with too much with Eyes One, but I am familiar with Produce 48. And I know she was the if there was a the winner, I guess um, number one, ranked number one. Um, so I do know her. She looks exactly the same, but just taller longer she was already tall before but she looks even longer than that <laughs> longer than before if i had to guess i think this girl in front is maybe a japanese member i will confirm later well i'm sorry cool part. I was interrupting her so I had to go back and listen to her like two or three times. Four times. It's a weird slowdown but it's cool. feel like 11. Um, let me back up really quick. This girl, she's also from Produce 48. Um, I remember this. Uh, do I remember her name? Yes, it's Yujin. Right? Yuji? It's you something. So far, very catchy.
I really like this part of the song too. The median age of this group, like 16 or average, <laughs> they all look really young. I know one young is really young. One young's um, improved her facial expressions and uh, stage presence quite a bit. Please don't get hit by that. Oh, she broke it. It's a really good song, actually. Very catchy. It's funny. I find this, uh, this, and then the bite kind of corny, but then it makes me. I don't know if it's that part of the song or if it's that gesture um, of biting that seven or eleven, whatever it is, um, kind of gives me like like a really goosebumpy feel. <laughs> I'm like, it's kind of corny, but it's growing on me, and it's now it's kind of uh, integral to how this choreography is, yeah. Now that everyone's got their eyes open, so I, the first pause I did was uh, uh, someone had was blinking. This is a tall group. Eugene was not short. Wonyoung was tall when produce, and then when I was seeing them, some of the members dancing with Wonyoung, um, they were like matching her height almost. It feels like, and they also look really young, like. Uh, in one of my past videos or two, I mentioned I don't particularly like seeing 16-year-olds debut for a variety of reasons, but the main one is, you know, I was mentioning, you know, at 16, personally, uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you what I wanted to be at all. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to be um, what I wanted to be in the next even one year, right? Um, never mind my career. Uh, but... As, but I also acknowledge uh, there's the opposite as well that are determined to be something from a very young age and work to it. Um, uh, so maybe those are the types of 16 year olds that are debuting in whatever age under adulthood. Um, I'm going to look at the members real quick. Song wise, I'll give you a, more of a critique after my second listen because I like giving songs two listens. I've profile. Um, let's see here. I've members profile. Six member group. They debuted in December 2021, so they've been around for just over half a year. Let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eugene. It is Eugene. She's from Produce 48, right? Yeah, she was 48. She was a former member of Eyes One. Um, she is 172, really tall, like I said. She is the leader. Good, good, good for her. Congratulations. Um, she's. I remember her persona to be pretty goofy, all over the place, but in a um, in a fun way. Let's see if there's anything that 
two fifty. Is that big for an, uh, cre uh for a girl? So I wear like two eighty shoe size in cre in millimeters. I mean, mm, which is like a ten. Her bias would be Ray. Interesting. Um, okay. Color. Color? Fall. Autumn. Color. Oh, okay. She's not as tall. She's 164. I don't know how much I could put into these weight categories. I don't think Eugene looks like she's 48 kilos or 105 pounds. I'm sorry, Ray. Uh, Connor, I, I just kind of skipped over her. Um, her name is Autumn, however, her favorite season is spring. The novels and horror movies. She was cast by JYP. This is not a JYP brand, uh, group, though. This is a Starship Entertainment. I wonder why she left JYP. Her nickname is Sloth. Okay, gives me an idea of what kind of person she is. Rei is a Japanese name. You don't, I don't know if I recognize who is what from these. All, this is a different music video concept than the one I just watched, so it's a little hard to figure out. Uh, Ray, Naoi, rapper, 2004. So they're not terribly young, I guess. That was my mistake. At least these three members so far. The other three might just jump down to. Uh, to bring the average down, age down quite a bit. She's a fan of Red Velvet. She's good at drawing. Liz. Who's Liz? It must be another member. Liz has nicknamed her Darling. The members gave her the name Kim Ray because she is very fluent in Korean. Well, that's impressive. Um, learning any language is difficult, but uh, I've always noticed that um, it's much easier for Koreans to learn Japanese than vice versa. Um, I believe one contributing factor is um, the Korean language, I believe, is able to um, replicate the entire phonetic uh, repertoire of Japanese. Like basically any word can be pronounced or by a Korean person with uh, relative ease, uh, but unlike Korean to Japanese, the Japanese they their the language doesn't have the phonetics of certain pronunciations, and it makes it harder for the Japanese to um, for a Japanese speaker to catch on to the nuances of Korean. Um, with that said. With enough, uh, ex with enough uh, patience and uh, determined to learn, um, I'm pretty sure any Japanese can become completely fluent in Korean as well. Grammatically, structurally, they're very similar. Ray. I was on Ray. Yeah, okay. Wonyoung, that's the person I know. Excuse me. 2004, so she's now 18. Oh, man. Produce 48 was that long ago, huh? I think she was 16 when I was watching 48, Produce 48. So yeah, it makes sense. Um, so she is an extrovert. She's very tall. She's my height for a Korean for a Korean girl. That's pretty tall. Um, I'm actually a little taller, but. I'm bit they're marking her height down a little bit on her bios because uh, 
they used to do that in Korea where they would bump up the guys just a little bit and they would bump down the girls just a little bit because it's deemed more uh the it's more more in line with the beauty standard of Korean people um maybe they don't do that anymore but anyway she's very tall still uh she's a former member of number eyes one she was the ranking first place yeah there is um she's hosting music bank good for her she's good at english which is surprising i don't think they ever showcased her english in produce i don't remember watching all episodes of produce but i watched a lot excuse me she can play a lot of instruments that's good for her she has an older sister no one's stalking her that's good uh she, i remember eugene and Young were very close they keep, both came from the same company starship and uh, yeah so they were very close and they were always together it seemed like ray calls her princess as a name i kind of i kind of see that excuse me liz you're liz you She has slight facial features that make her look not completely Korean, but it says she's Korean. She was born in Korea. She attended Korean schools. And it doesn't say anything about her being mixed, so, so at least not here. So. She just has very prominent features, like her nose is very not typical of Korean people. But what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> this is weird. If she was a fan of Ive, that, that's everyone's got some kind of comment on that. She is 2004, so she's 18. Yi's Hall. Yi Hyun Seo. Oh, they just took the Hyun part out and put Seo. What's wrong with Hyun Seo? Wow. It jumps from 2004 to 2007. Yi Seo. She is 15 years old. Is that the end? Yes, okay. Just making sure I didn't miss a member. It's a six member group. From here, if I can name them, you're Liz, Wonyoung, Eugene, Ray, Kaur, Esau? Is this Esau? Hmm. Love Dive is probably the next music video I have to listen to. But for now, I'm going to go back to Ive and listen to it again. This is a very pretty strong song. Sorry, I've already forgotten her name. I've already forgotten her name. Liz. Liz. Your Esau, right? The Mangne. Yeah. That must be Ray. And there's Kai. I feel like this comment is very redundant now, but they're all very pretty. 
It's like a given almost that they're pretty. I actually really like Liz's voice. So the song's lyrics are very typical, like kind of not typical. I shouldn't say typical. It's it's um it's a it's a you're what are you doing to me? How who are you to do this to me? You are making me feel like an eleven out of ten or seven or whatever. I wish there was more rapping from Ray in this song. It's a good song. Good way to end the song too with i think that was just one young's voice at the end there um wow this is their debut song i believe december 1st and profile k profiles showed that's december 1st i just chose this one over love dive i saw both on my uh search i thought i'd go for the older one not the newer one uh, i didn't realize ives uh, debut song was this one but One more roll call just to reaffirm um, and confirm that I know them now. This is Liz, Wonyoung, Eugene, Isar, Ray, and Kyle. That was a lot easier. Uh, for some, some groups I have a real problem uh, memorizing, and some groups it's uh, so much easier for some odd reason. Well, it helps if you know two of the six members, so it's one third of the members. I don't have to try anymore. Um, you know, just because I can, um, I've reacted to fairly new fourth gen girl groups, quite a few of them, I've list, uh, list Seraphim, uh, I've here, and Mix, uh, Kepler. Am I missing one? Yeah, that's it for now. I think uh, from a debut perspective, I think all the other songs were debut songs uh, as well. Um, I think all of them have really good songs. However, if I had to choose, let's say, just to put them, just to pit them together for fun, right? Competitive spirit. I think Le Seraphim and I have the best debut songs. Um, they both do something that I like, which, or they avoid what I don't like, which is change-ups. Changing up the song completely to something else really annoys me. Um, sometimes it's good. Most of the time, I'm just kind of like, eh, you know, I just accept that it exists because so many Korean songs do that. But I've doesn't has didn't have a need to do it, really. And Le Seraphim's uh, Fearless didn't have to do it either, and that's... Uh, so that's a big plus. And in general, they're very different feels, uh, Le Seraphim versus Ive. Um, uh, melodically, I think Ive's song is better. 
but conceptually i think la seraphim's was better you know what i mean just they're they're they they both hit different points of uh, intrigue and um um amicability is that a word amiability likability anyways um out of 10 what do i give ives 11 i give ives 11 a 9 out of 10 again this is a scale of how much andy likes this it's not a critical or a musicality um a score it is just a purely how much does andy like the song um it's a great song i like it a lot it's very catchy um everyone sings in a very consistent manner i wish ray could have probably voc- I'm, I'm curious about ray she did the little slow down first part of the slow down but it was not unique to her esau also did that slow down part i noticed um Wan Yang has improved a lot from, I think, uh, when Produce 48 days. She has really good facial expressions and her vocals seem more stable. Of course, this is the studio version. Who knows what she sounds like live? Um, but I'm only really reacting to music videos anyway. Um, Liz is catching my eye um, and ear. When she was singing some of her parts, her voice is very soothing and very... There's a quality to it that isn't like the others. Eugene has a very strong voice. She sings much chestier, more um, uh, more boomy sounding, right? Liz appears to sing a lot more lighter, but her light tone, the tone of her voice is really nice. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the next one. I have to, I think, I'll have to check out the next one soon but anyways it's much late in the day so i must i must uh stop recording for today i think i appreciate your time and patience if you made it this far you're amazing um let me know if you have other things you want me to see of ive or if i made missed some things like or you want me to if you want to point some things out about ive that'd be great i'm always looking to learn more about all these uh groups and formulating an educated list of you know what I like and like what I like about each group and what songs I like from them. So let me know if you have any comments. Uh, subscribe if you can if you haven't already. Uh, like the video helps me out, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.